right now. J.D. Vance, I don't know if you saw this, was in Minneapolis yesterday. And then afterwards, Mayor Jacob Fry actually put together a little bit of a response in a very Jacob Fry-esque way, if you ever follow him on social media. So we want to bring in Amber Meyer right now. Uh, so how did this play out, Amber? Yeah, so... Vance was actually in town for a Trump campaign fundraiser. Um, details around that were pretty, on the record, details were pretty limited there. Um, but he did speak to the press outside of the Minneapolis 3rd Police Precinct, uh, which you will remember burned down in 2020 after the murder of George Floyd. And Vance essentially was saying, you know, Minneapolis is on the decline. And he was, you know, ripping into the city a bit. Fry saw that, Mayor Fry, and clapped back a bit um, while out on a run around the lakes and posted the video to Twitter saying, you know what, Vance, you got some things wrong. So we've got both of, uh, both of that you know, sound here. So let's, let's listen in to what they said. To all the folks who are watching this, I think the message is very simple. That do we want a kind of leader who stands with the law enforcement, who fights for them, who protects their lives as they go about keeping us safe, or do we want someone who encourages rioters and looters to burn down this precinct? Hey, J.D. Vance, I saw you're in town, but you never said hello. You got a couple things wrong. You called Minneapolis a city in decline. Here's the thing. We were rated as the happiest city in the entire country. We're rated as having the best park system in the entire country. Great place for recent college grads. Downtown's coming back. Guess what else? The last several years, crime's been dropping. Now back to what's going on at the 3rd Police Precinct, the former home of the 3rd Police Precinct. The city has been working for some time trying to figure out what they want to do with that building moving ahead. It's currently vacant. It's been vacant since 2020. Um, one of the ideas is to turn it into a democracy center. And um, the city has been gauging public interest on that now, Amy. And then today, this afternoon, actually, in what time is it? About an hour. Um, they're going to present that feedback. I was looking at the press release earlier today, and it seems like it's majority positive. Um, so we'll see you know, what we learn from them today, more specifics. And also, the mayor might be talking about this within the hour. So if we get a camera on him, we might bring that to you guys live. Okay, that sounds good, Amber. Thank you. Yeah, these are, you know, when you see these things uh, online and the and the conversations flying back and forth via social media, yeah. um, they they usually kind of take one stance or the other. And, you know, there's truth somewhere here, there's somewhere here and somewhere in, in the middle. So as folks are kind of taking in this information, um, you know, it, it political seasons can get, uh, get kind of dicey too. Yeah, so. yeah.